much, Mr. Chairman, and I'd like to thank the committee for giving uh, we of the public a chance to speak on this issue. Um, I have to say that people I talked to in Portsmouth were quite dismayed at the uh, flurry of legislative activity that occurred in the last session last summer. Um, if our town administrator presented a budget to us in the last 24 or 48 hours, and none of us had seen it and asked us to vote for it, he would be fired. It's, I think, a misuse of the personnel in this body of 75 intelligent, caring, and committed people they should be made use of. If the, their deliberations in committee are not ever brought to the floor or are only at the very last minute brought to the floor for debate and a vote, uh, you're not making the best use of the people who are working to get these things done. I'd like to advocate that all of the reforms the Reform Caucus have suggested, most particularly the discharge petition, being allowed to be freely circulated by the sponsor. And, you know, that's how politics is supposed to work. People talking to each other in private conversation, reaching agreement, and I think it would definitely facilitate uh, useful legislation being brought to the floor for, for everyone to be able to vote on. I also believe that subways really ought to be made um, public at least 48 hours uh, before the brought to a vote. As you yourself, Mr. Chairman, pointed out, uh, these bills can change like a chameleon, and I think it's important for members to know which, which chameleon they're voting for. Uh, thank you.